All right, what's up everyone? In this episode, we're gonna talk about paginations. We have this big, long uh, table of Form 4s. We in fact have over 100,000, but we don't actually have a way to look at all of them or paginate through them. So there's two really common gems for working with pagination in Rails. One of them is called Will Paginate, and another one is called Kaminari, Kaminari, Kaminari. Um, and when comparing these two, they actually are pretty similar in terms of their stats. One has 5,000 stars, the other has almost 8,000 stars. Those both tell me that they're pretty popular and they're both like pretty, pretty similar in uh, what they offer and what they expose. Um, and this is interesting. They're like claiming that it doesn't actually pollute this. So maybe that's like one argument to use Kaminari versus using uh, Will Paginate. Um, so pa will paginate the way that it works is it adds a method to uh, Ruby or to active record models and uh, the method is called paginate and you pass in the page and you can pass in per page. The way that Kaminari works is uh, very similar. So it adds a scope to the, the active record model called page and you pass it in which page number um, that it should be returning. So you can say like, give me back page one or page two. Um, so pretty pretty similar to, like the, the APIs are pretty similar. Um, let's see, so in will paginate, you set per page uh, as a class method on the active record model. And on Kaminari, um, it's very similar, you know, paginates per, this is another class method that you're just calling um, on, the, on the model. So, when deciding between the two, I'm actually pretty torn. I don't know which is uh, which is better. Um, so let's see. Yeah. Okay. So this one has a bunch of helpers to use. Okay. This is interesting. So this has Ajax links for paginating with remote true, um, and I don't see that here in will paginate. So and the docs for will paginate are much shorter. There's actually just like. Um, you know, basic will paginate usage and that's it. I think, let's see, see the wiki for more documentation. Um, and there is a bit more documentation here. Let's see, uh, Ajax. So there's no Ajax um, thing or like remote true on will paginate. So let's just stick with, um, with Kaminari for now. So we're gonna install Kaminari, the Kaminari gem, and then we'll uh, implement pagination for our Form 4's page. So let's see, so we wanna go to the gem file, and we're gonna install Kaminari down here at the bottom, bundle install. And I believe that might be kind of it for getting it set up, and then we can uh, I guess we could configure it if we wanted to, uh, but let's just drop in this paginate call onto that form fours view. So form fours index. So we'll just drop in paginate at form fours and we'll put it at the top and the bottom. And then we'll say in the form fours controller, um, we want to say, uh, what do we do here? So that's where we call page, I believe. So, um, yeah, so this is kind of, yeah, so I'm pretty sure we want to say just like, instead of limit, we're going to say dot page params page. And let's see if that gives us anything. And then I'm gonna go, when I have this, let's see. Locally, my list of form fours, oh gosh. Undefined method page. Oh, yeah, we have to restart the server. I think we want to do like page or one, because if there's no params page, then maybe that doesn't matter. Let's see. So do we not need the one? Cool. So yeah, we're on page one. If we click page two, 
that should go to page two, page three, should go to page three, page four, should go to page four. And I think that's it. Like that's how you add pagination. I wanna clean this up a little bit because I don't actually have the officer title there. So we have the link. So let's see, this is gonna be like the ticker. Then the filing date, then is it an officer, director, 10% owner, other, some shares, insiders. Wait. Okay. So I think that's, should be it. Ticker, date, officer, director, 10% owner, other, some shares, shums, some shares after, and then insider. Yeah, okay. So that is totally working and I'm happy with that. That's how you set up pagination with Kaminari. Um, why don't we go into our form four method here and use this uh, this tool to limit how many we have per page. What was that method again? Let's see. So, okay, so we could just call per dot per after the page number. Um, which is kind of nice because then you can allow the, the user to enter in how many they want per page. Um, but by, by going into our form four here and saying paginates per, paginates per, and then if we just say like five or something, just to see if it will actually only show us five on that page. Oh, that's, okay, cool. So now we have like way more pages. Go to page five, page, or yeah. So page three, page one, right? Only five on each page. That's because we're saying paginate per. And if we wanted to, we could do one of those fancy things where we have a drop down list that says like, show me how many you want to see per page. I think actually like seeing a hundred per page is pretty good. Um, and, but because we only have 80 here, <laughs> that makes it so we can't really test. So 50, this is the count of the number of form fours. So if we make it 50, then we have two pages. And uh, yeah, that seems, that seems fine. Are there any other like major features here that I think would be valuable? Um, inner window size, interesting. Oh, right, let's do that Ajax, the Ajax link. So remote true, um, let's just try that form for index. So is it just uh, remote true? Yeah, and we'll do the same down here. and see how that works. So now if we go, oh, okay. So I don't have, I don't think I have turbo links set up or installed and I think that's what it needs. So let's pull that back off and we'll just do it without remote true for now. Um, okay, cool. So that's working and uh, yeah, I'm happy with how that, uh, how, that how quickly that was set up with Kaminari. Um, great, if you enjoyed the episode, um, give me a quick like and I'll see you next time. Cheers.